For centuries, humanity has gazed at the night sky, believing we understood its vastness. We charted stars, mapped galaxies, and even dared to calculate the number of worlds beyond our reach. Yet every time we thought we had grasped the scale of the universe, reality proved us wrong. And now, the James Webb Space Telescope has delivered its most staggering revelation yet. With a single image, an image that stretches across 13.5 billion years of cosmic history, Webb has forced scientists to confront the possibility that the universe is not only larger than we imagined, but infinitely more complex, more ancient, and more populated than any theory dared to predict. This is not just a discovery. It is a redefinition of everything we thought we knew about our place in the cosmos. Before Webb, the Hubble Space Telescope gave us a glimpse into the depths of space with its ultra-deep field, a single patch of sky observed for days that revealed about 10,000 galaxies. Each one was not a star, but an island universe filled with billions of stars of its own. It was a revelation that expanded our concept of existence, leading us to believe the observable universe might contain up to two trillion galaxies. For years, Hubble's vision defined our understanding of scale. But as powerful as it was, Hubble was blind to the oldest light, stretched by billions of years of expansion into the infrared spectrum. What Hubble could not see, Webb was designed to uncover. And when its golden mirror finally opened its eye, the truth it revealed shattered our comfortable assumptions. Hubble had shown us a glimpse of a city block. Webb has revealed the entire continent. One of Webb's largest observing programs, known as Cosmos Webb, dedicated over 250 hours to scanning a patch of sky about three times the area of the full moon. Thousands of exposures were stitched together to create the single most detailed map of the cosmos ever made. Within this image lies a staggering 780,000 galaxies, structures stretching back nearly to the dawn of time. In one frame, we can watch the story of cosmic evolution unfold, from mature galaxies that resemble our own to infant galaxies forming just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The sheer scale of this discovery is beyond comprehension. Imagine printing Hubble's deep field on a sheet of paper. At that scale, Webb's new map would cover a mural over 13 feet across, each speck of light a galaxy, each galaxy a universe unto itself. It is not just more data. It is a profound recontextualization of what it means to be human in a cosmos far grander than our imaginations ever dared. Perhaps the most unsettling revelation hidden in Webb's map is not the sheer number of galaxies, but how developed they appear at the earliest stages of cosmic history. Conventional models suggested galaxies should have been small, faint, and chaotic only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Instead, Webb has uncovered luminous, structured systems with defined spiral arms and heavy elements like carbon and nitrogen, proof that entire generations of stars had already lived and died in record time. These galaxies should not exist, not yet, not so soon. Their presence shatters the timeline of cosmic evolution, forcing scientists to admit that star formation and black hole growth must have begun earlier, faster, and through processes we still cannot explain. In a single sweep of its mirror, Webb has upended the story of creation we thought we understood, leaving us with a universe that feels both familiar and impossibly alien. What Webb has given us is not merely a picture, but a challenge. A reminder that every time we peer deeper into the cosmos, we discover it is larger still. Each galaxy, each cluster, each cosmic filament mapped by Webb suggests that the true scale of the universe may be beyond measurement, beyond comprehension, perhaps even beyond physics itself. The vast web of galaxies connects into structures that stretch for billions of light years, so immense that even light, the fastest thing in existence, takes eons to traverse them. And yet, here they are, captured in a single image. It is the closest humanity has ever come to holding infinity in its hands and it is only the beginning. Because the data gathered in Webb's first year alone is enough to keep astronomers busy for generations. What lies within it is not just the scale of the universe, but the possibility that we may never truly know its limits. 
As scientists pored over the staggering tapestry of Webb's Cosmos web field, they began noticing something more unsettling than sheer numbers. Galaxies were not scattered randomly like grains of sand. They seemed to align along invisible threads, weaving together in colossal patterns that stretched across unimaginable distances. These threads formed what cosmologists call the cosmic web, filaments of dark matter and gas linking galaxies into structures so vast they defy comprehension. Some filaments are billions of light years long, cosmic highways binding galaxies together like beads on a string. But here's the mystery. These structures are too uniform, too interconnected, too precise to emerge so quickly after the Big Bang. According to the old models, it should have taken far longer for gravity to sculpt such order out of chaos. And yet Webb shows us a universe that was organized almost from the start, a design written into reality itself. If the cosmos truly follows such patterns, then the universe is not a chaotic explosion. It is a masterpiece with rules we have yet to decipher. The implications of Webb's findings ripple through the scientific world like shockwaves. For decades, the Big Bang model has been the cornerstone of cosmology, explaining the birth and expansion of everything. But Webb's data raises disturbing questions. If massive, mature galaxies existed within a few hundred million years of the beginning, then either the universe formed far faster than we thought, or the timeline itself is flawed. Could it be that the Big Bang wasn't the singular, isolated event we imagined? Some researchers now whisper about alternative models, that the universe may be cyclic, reborn again and again, or that time itself may not be linear, but layered, allowing structures to appear too soon because our understanding of cause and effect is incomplete. What was once solid scientific ground now feels like shifting sand, as Webb forces us to question not just when the universe began, but whether our definition of a beginning makes sense at all. The deeper Webb looks, the more it pushes us toward a terrifying possibility, that the universe may not have an edge. In Hubble's era, we spoke of the observable universe, a sphere 93 billion light years across, limited by the time light has had to travel. But Webb's revelations hint that what we see may only be the faintest slice of an endless expanse, a fraction of a cosmos with no boundaries. If galaxies appear fully formed so soon after the supposed beginning, could it mean the universe is older than we believe? Or perhaps eternal, stretching infinitely backward and forward in time? Infinity has always been a concept reserved for philosophy, too vast and abstract for science to handle. But Webb has forced it back onto the table, not as a poetic metaphor, but as a scientific necessity. If the cosmos is truly infinite, then our place within it shrinks to near nothingness. And yet at the same time, every possibility we can imagine must exist somewhere, written into the endless fabric of creation. Standing before Webb's images, Scientists and ordinary people alike are struck by a paradox. Never have we felt smaller, and yet never have we felt more significant. On one hand, the sheer scale dwarfs us, hundreds of thousands of galaxies in a single image, trillions more beyond our sight, each one home to billions of stars, each star a potential host of worlds. Against that immensity, humanity feels like a flicker, a breath in the dark. And yet, it was us who built Webb, us who dared to ask these questions. Us who now hold the ability to glimpse the true scale of the cosmos. The fact that we, a fragile species clinging to a small blue planet, can look out and measure infinity, is perhaps the most extraordinary revelation of all. Webb is not just showing us the universe. It is showing us ourselves, reflected against the backdrop of eternity. And that reflection carries both awe and terror, because it means our journey of discovery has only just begun and the answers may be far beyond anything we are ready to hear. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to push the boundaries of our vision, but what it has revealed goes beyond sight. It has shaken the very foundations of how we understand existence. With a single image, it has shown us hundreds of thousands of galaxies, each one a cosmic city, each one brimming with stars and worlds, with its data, it has exposed structures too vast to fit into our models, galaxies too ancient to fit into our timelines, and a scale so overwhelming it collapses the comfort of certainty. The true scale of the universe is not just large, it is beyond large. 
It is layered, infinite, perhaps eternal. For every discovery Webb makes, it multiplies the questions, stretching our imagination to breaking point. And yet, within that vastness, we find something extraordinary. Against a canvas of unimaginable size, here we are, tiny, fragile, temporary, yet capable of building a machine that stares into eternity and brings back its secrets. We may be small, but we are not insignificant. The panic, the awe, the silence filling the halls of NASA all stem from one unavoidable truth. We are standing at the threshold of a cosmic revelation. The universe is not only greater than we imagined, it may be greater than we can imagine. And Webb has only just begun to pull back the veil. If you want to follow every update, every hidden image, and every discovery that reshapes our place in the cosmos like this video, subscribe and turn on notifications, because the next revelation from Webb may not just expand the universe, it may redefine reality itself.